We begin tonight with the latest path of tropical storm Elsa. Here you can see Elsa is continuing to inch closer to Key West. We'll get a live report from the Keys in a few minutes. Now take a look at this time lapse video looking toward Miami International Airport recorded at about 3.30 this afternoon. It goes from cloudy and rainy to a downpour. Thanks for being with us at 11. I'm Lauren Pastrana. And I'm Elliot Rodriguez. CBS Force Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer has been a busy guy the last couple of days. He is tracking Elsa and our radar. Craig? Well, the word tonight is not bad news. No surprises. Uh, in fact, this forecast has been amazingly accurate, at least the track part of it, by the National Hurricane Center. It was five days ago they were saying that the center was going to pass near Key West. And guess what? Here we are tonight. And the center is just now 80 miles to the south, southwest of Key West, moving to the north northwest now at about 12 miles an hour. And we've got a strong tropical storm, 60 mile an hour winds and uh, no no expectation that we're going to have any surprises here. Not in terms of the track. It's not going to do one of these and come over here and not in terms of the intensity. It's not going to all of a sudden become a category two or category three hurricane. Those are not in the cards there. It could get a little bit stronger though as it moves up the west coast because it's going to be over warm water. But and I'll show you in a second. It's got a limiting factor kind of helping to hold it back and we're we're glad that's going on. First off, there is a storm surge warning for the west coast coast of Florida about Bonita Springs all the way up to the Big Bend for possibly if it happens at high tide three to five feet of storm surge water from the uh, Gulf over normally dry land. So folks uh, along the coastal areas really need to take serious um, concern of that down here in South Florida as well as the Keys, the middle and lower Keys under a tropical storm warning. The watch for the upper Keys discontinued and that warning extends all the way up the coast for the expectation of tropical storm conditions. Here's the future track and you can see it is very, very close to the west coast of Florida, the yellow area, because we always talk about it doesn't matter if you're in or out of the cone. It's if you're in or out of the tropical storm conditions, tropical storm conditions in the lower keys there and then reaching the coast and as the storm passes to the north. Here it is tomorrow morning, tomorrow evening. Our weather will get worse in South Florida and then gradually get better by tomorrow evening. After that, it's on up the coast and then makes landfall probably up in the Big Bend, some area sometime on Wednesday morning and then it's on zipping off to the northeast and not going to be a big deal. All right, so let's break it down a little bit with what's going on with the storm tonight. There it is. Hurricane Hunters did what we call beach patrol, flying along there looking for the center to come off of Cuba. It has the Hurricane Hunters only take observations when they're over water. That's why they fly the coast like that. When you look at it right away, you're like, well, it's down here, right? No, no, no. It's up here. In fact, it's up here now. That's the latest advisory position. There's this odd little thing of thunderstorms down here, but the whole thing is a bit lopsided, and I'll show you that as well in a second. Here's the water vapor loop. That brown area is dry air, and there's southwesterly winds here. That's wind shear. That's what should limit limit strengthening despite the fact it's going to be over very warm water. Now here's the real lopsided look at it. There's the center. Look at all the bad weather. It's basically from the center east. So the center goes due north. All that bad weather comes through the Keys and we're going to get some bad weather here in South Florida too. We've already had some pretty good storms offshore. Look at this line coming up. It is going to be a stormy night in South Florida. So as we go through the night, the worst of the weather is going to be in the Keys. Wind gusts possible up to 65 miles an hour, mostly in squalls. Some flooding rainfall and some storm surge of one to two feet in Miami-Dade, Broward and Upper Keys. Wind gusts up to 50. Rainfall flooding is possible as well as some isolated tornadoes. I'll be back with more on it coming up in just a bit. Craig, thanks a lot. And a reminder, you can track weather where you are at any time by downloading the CBS Miami weather app to your iPhone or Android. You can find it in the iTunes Store or the Google Play Store.